everyone and thanks for joining me today i'll be making some christmas tags that can also be used as place cards and i'll be using a bunch of uh, stamps and dies uh, mostly from w plus nine i really love their winter release and i think i got pretty much the entire release and i'm gonna be using this gorgeous uh, tag die this is a very large tag i'm gonna be putting it on top here so you can see how large it is this is a a2 size card so i have here a sheet of white cardstock and i'm just gonna fold this in half and i'm gonna run this through my big shot with the tag die and i'm gonna place my tag die like this leaving a bit of a space at the top and not having the tag all onto my paper but just a tiny bit of space at the top so i put some washi tape here and just run it through my big shot like this and once you have done that this is what you came up with it's a tag that folds and it's like a double tag and i will use these as my place cards as they can stand vertically on their own and before starting decorating my tags i'm going to create some various elements and i will be using this be merry florals to stamp some of the leaves and flowers and also will show you how you can use your misty to stamp onto your die cuts perfectly each time just gonna need some uh, berries and leaves and this flower just space them a bit so i can place the dies on top so i'm just gonna close the door on my misty and pick my stamps up i'm just gonna quickly ink these with a random ink I just need this uh, to be as my guide at first. So I'm just gonna close the door on my misty, stamp. And I think I got the wrong stamp. And yes, I did. I wanted the berries one. This is it. So I'm just gonna close the door once again sorry about that stamp this quickly okay now it's better and now i'm just gonna take the dies and place them on top i will be using a bit of washi I'm making sure that I align my dies perfectly with the stamped image. You want to take a bit of extra time and place the dies perfectly the first time that you will cut them out. And I did not remove the stamps from the door of my Misty. Make sure that you leave them in the exact same position that you stamped at first. And now I can put my paper inside the misty and i have die cut a bunch of these flowers and leaves and i'm just gonna place them inside the negative space onto my cardstock here and now i can ink with the inks that i want so i'm gonna be using willow for the leaves I also placed the stamps a bit separately so I can use different inks and not risking to touch the stamps with other inks. Uh, this is Flamingo and I'll use this for the flower, the poinsettia flower. And Ocean Drive, this is a gorgeous teal ink. And now I'm going to close the door on the misty and stamp. And if my paper is placed correctly, I will get the perfect stamping each time onto my die cuts.
and that's why I said that you want to take a bit of extra time at first when you place your dies so then when you do your mess stamping you get the same perfect impression each time so I'm gonna quickly stamp all these and we'll get back to you once everything is stamped finished stamping my flowers and leaves and the inks I've used are Hero Arts Ombre Ink and this is light purple to grape purple. I use the same Ocean Drive for some of the leaves and berries and Fossil for these grey leaves. Now the next stamp set that I'm using from W plus 9 is the Santa's Reindeer and I will be coloring and I cut some of the some of these cute reindeers. I really love the design of this stamp set so I'm gonna be inking this up with my Memento Tuxedo Black as I'll be coloring these in quickly with my alcohol based markers and I'm gonna be using my Copics to color I have here some brown Copics and these are E31, E37 and E35 and if you're watching my videos you know that I don't color too, too often with markers but today I'm just gonna give it a shot so I will speed this up and we'll catch you once everything is colored For my next step I will be using the Be Merry stamp set and I'm gonna stamp this banner just using some black ink and as I said I'll be making some place tags and I'm gonna use an alphabet stamp and just to be sure that I will have the names centered onto the banner I'm gonna be stamping first onto this transparency and I will be using a stamp positioner so I know where to stamp onto my banner afterwards and I'm not going to remove the, this letter I will be using another acrylic block to spell the other letters this is an alphabet stamp set from Concord and Ninth And I'm gonna place this on top of my banner I'm just gonna tilt a bit the M and I will grab the block where I have the M the starting letter and I'm just gonna stamp okay and now I can go ahead and stamp the other letters also and on my second banner I will stamp the Be Merry and I think I'm gonna be using the ombre purple ink the sentiment fits perfectly inside the banner and I will be using the matching die to cut out my banners and now I can start assemble my place tag and I just want to add a bit of color to my background so I'll be using a bit of tumbled glass distress ink this is a very light blue
create a cluster with these flowers that I have. I'm just gonna try and see how I will place these onto my tag. And once I have everything positioned, I will use my glue and adhere everything down. So now that I have everything mounted, I want to stamp a sentiment on the inside. And I will be using another stamp set from W plus 9 and this is the Be Merry Sentiment and I will stamp the Merry and Christmas. And for the Merry I am using the Old Gold dye ink from W plus 9. And I'm going to stamp the Christmas with the red flamingo ink. And to finish this off, I want to add, of course, a bit of sparkle because this is a wintry themed tag. So I'm going to adhere some sequins. I will add, of course, a bit of shimmer and will use my Wink of Stella. And one last thing that I will be doing, because I still feel that it is a bit empty here, I will be adding that reinforcement piece. And I have here this uh, scrap piece of paper that I was left with from my one of my last videos. And this one I've stamped it with the Simon Says Gingham Pattern. I'm just gonna die cut this and here is how this looks I'm just gonna fold it and we'll add a bit of the same liquid glue and that finishes my place tag I'm gonna put this to the side and show you that you can also use pattern papers and decorate the tags even more. I just cut a tag from a doodlebug paper pad and I'm gonna adhere this on top with my double sided adhesive tape. And I'm gonna start aligning this tag with the bottom of my previous cut tag and this will be a bit larger, a bit taller so I'm gonna be using my scissors and trim this off and I can now assemble this tag with the other die cuts that I've prepared I finished assembled the second tag also. I've added some twine as you can add this either to your gift packages or hang it into your Christmas tree. Or you can personalize them and either use them as place tags or tie them around your gift bags also. I hope I gave you some inspiration. I'm sorry if this video was too long. I thank you all so much for watching and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.